Hello again everybody and welcome back to Treacle Stew. Uh, last time we did a reasonable amount of the second level. Um, got stuck on this room. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna explore the rest of the level and then maybe come back to that one. Because that one I was slightly stuck on. Um, hmm, what's going on here? We need to direct this gel baby through the sea of... Um, of brains. Uh, using the different properties of, uh, hmm, of, um, oh no, 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 okay, we don't want to direct them, direct the gel baby, we want to be able to drop all these trap doors quick enough, uh, so that, um, we get, we can go and kill this brain before this gel baby steps on the plate. Um, so you just saw what happens, uh, when, um, when we switch over to uh, uh, switch the gel baby to a mud baby, and the same will happen when we switch it to a tar baby. Uh, now, <clears throat> I'm gonna assume that I can't just do this. Yeah, this is uh, not gonna work. Yeah. So I need to use these um, these switching tokens somehow to to allow this to work. Um, the big issue here is that we have three uh, mud switches, and the fourth mud switcher is really high up here. Um, Hmm, so... Okay. Yeah, that's even worse. And like I say, the main reason is that it takes so long to get from here to here. Um, hmm. Okay, I need to think of ways I can slow this down. The main issue I'm seeing is just that, like, these the tr uh, switches with the trap doors on seem to be closer together than... Like, this one in particular is really, really far away. Um... Um... There is also no way to influence the path that the gel baby takes, yeah, because it's always gonna... I think, anyway, hang on, let me try something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's always gonna path map around the uh, the brains here. So the nowhere it doesn't matter where I'm standing in this room. The the gel baby and or whatever color it is at that moment will um, always want to go follow the path uh, when it's um, sorry when it's been switched to either a mud or tar baby. That is. Um. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't actually really see where to start on this one. Um. I suppose I could switch it to Tarth. Uh, ooh. I have an idea, actually. If I switch it to Tar, right, then like, I'm not sure whether this would this can help me, but if I switch it to Tar, then I can just step on these um, these switches uh, as and when I want. Uh, because it's not gonna do anything. So I can do like this. Yeah, okay, okay. It's gonna be something to do with this. It's, it's, I'm not quite sure just yet. But I believe it's gonna be something to do with, um, like switching up. Switching the, there is some order I can do this in whereby when I switch the tokens, I can step on the opposite token in a way that it doesn't really affect um, anything. So I can like go past, right? So I think a more efficient way of doing things would be like, I actually want to start on this token, like this. I can do the same trick on this side. That's still not enough, though. I still need to drop one more trapdoor. Wow. Uh... Okay. Whew. Um... What about the other way around then? What about doing something like this? That's still not working. There is some switch that I can... Like, there's, there is obviously some reason for me to have these two here. Uh, I, I believe that one of them is just a red herring. I, I'm gonna need one of them. I feel like it must be this one because this one is just too far away. Um, but I can't really see. Another way of doing things. I suppose I can do something like this. But then I've got like all of this distance, uh, like to to go. Then I have to go all the way from this side to this side. So that just doesn't seem right. The closest I've been is still just the. You just do this. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, th that was actually closer, was it? So I'm three turns short there, I think. Well, actually, hang on, am I? Uh, I want to test. Yeah, so I'm actually 
four turns short because it needs to be here. Um, let me just test that one once more. Wait. Uh... Oh, I'm a few more turns actually than I expected to be short there. Um, but has this? Well, okay, this is really close. This is this is without doing any shenanigans, right? Yeah, this is with, this is no shenanigans. Uh, I need to be able to get to this situation like very slightly earlier, like a couple of turns. Um, okay, well, uh, okay. I just kind of st stumbled on that solution. Uh, I don't really know the reasoning. I, I don't know how I hadn't tried that. Uh, I, one of the things I noticed, well, actually, no, I didn't really notice anything. Okay, this I, I'm not entirely sure what has happened and how I solved this room, but there we go, that's the solution. Cool, I guess. Okay. Um. Um, okay, no, I should just, <laughs> I should actually uh, try and pass what's going on first. Okay, so what do I need to do? Uh, first of all, uh, in order to... Okay, that's not actually... Okay, I, um... Uh... Okay, so I need to fill this up with gel ABs, I believe. Um, when I fill this up with gel ABs, this will allow me to walk past here so that I can or or wubber uh, to kill this Eblai. The way this room is set up, it means that maybe I need to. Uh, basically, like I'm gonna have to use maybe the wubber to extract. Um, other uh these gel babies i think um Wait, can I extract them? I don't think I can. Um, because once I swap the rubber in, I can't get anything out, right? So, I'll show you. Uh... 
So, for example, on this... Oh, yeah, wait, if I kill them... Okay, I'm quite confused about what's going on here. Um... I do need to make sure that I have a sufficient number of gel babies in here though, I'm pretty sure. That's the only way I'm going to be able to hold this down. Uh, but I definitely can't get... 1, 2, 3, 4 in there. 1, 2, 3, 4... F 5... I mean, I can extract this one easily. Um... Hmm. Well... I can't, uh, actually. I'm gonna need the, um... Uh, yeah. I, I'm gonna need this to be the Wubba, uh, I think. So I need to retrieve the Wubba. Um... The thing about the Wubba is... Ignoring this... Yeah. I can't bring the Wubba out. Uh... Okay, so uh, so first things first, I'm going to need to use this gel baby to extract the wubba. Then use the wubba to extract this gel baby. And then... And then what? Um... That's the other thing, actually. The only way I can get in here is by having this filled up with gel babies. Having four gel babies in there. Um, I think this is the gel baby that I can't extract. I I'm pretty sure I can extract this, these two if I put the gel wubber in there. Yeah. I think this is the kind of red herring. So I'm actually just going to go and immediately kill that. Um... I mean, actually, I can extract this, uh, but I will lose the wobber in the process. Um, oh yeah, no, no, I need all five gel babies. Uh, fine, I, it's going to be easier to use gel babies because of the... Um, yeah, okay, because of the hot tiles. So, first thing I want to do is extract the rubber. Now, this gel baby is now stuck until I can fill this um, chamber up to uh, this pressure plate. Uh, but the next thing I want to do is... this. Um. Yep. So I've extracted this first gel, baby. Uh, and in fact, I'm just going to immediately put this um, in, uh, in here. Okay. So, so I've done one. Uh, now I need a second. Uh, the way to remove these is, I think I want to do something like this. I want to grab the wubber. I want to get the wubber stuck. Like that. Bring this gel baby in here. So now the wubber's down here. Uh, I want the wubber stepping on this plate. And now I can remove... Yeah, now I can remove the... Uh... 
this gel baby. Wait. Uh, hmm. Actually, once this gel baby, once this wubber is in here, isn't it? Ju isn't it just stuck? I can remove this gel baby afterwards, but I feel like the wubber is actually just stuck once it's there. Um, which does leave me with a problem. Okay, well, 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 let's let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Um, let's see if we are left with a problem. We'll put this gel baby in. Once we extract this gel baby, I can pull this one out, I think. Um. Like this. Uh, so I can remove this one. I can then retrieve this one as well. Which gives me nearly everything. Um, oh, no, no, this is enough. This is fine. Okay. Yeah, this is fine, actually. Uh, this is enough to solve the room. Because I only need to get into this column to re remove the evil eye. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is good enough. And then turn order will mean that um, turn, turn order will be good enough that um, that I can uh, step onto the um, to the door in time and solve this room. Yeah. Okay. Took a bit of a while but um yeah, managed to solve the room. Uh, not too difficult, actually. Uh, once I kind of... I realized that I was either losing the... Web, basically, this one... This one is not extractable without losing the wubber, and these two are not... You can't extract both without losing the wubber. But the difference is, is that this one, you can kill um, the gel baby without the wubber, but you can't kill either of these two gel babies um, without the wubber. Oh, sorry, you can't kill the second gel baby without the wubber uh, from this one, which means this is the chamber which we had to leave, uh, which we which we couldn't extract a gel baby from, and as it turned out, you know, just, just due to the way turn order works and stuff, we didn't actually need, um, I suppose we could have actually used the evil eye um, if we'd needed to in here. Uh, could we? Not really, but no, we couldn't actually. But basically, turn order meant that we we only needed this to be filled up with four. I wonder if actually you could have done it with three with the right turn order. Uh, no, 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 you couldn't. You would have needed it still to be filled down to here. Okay, cool. Uh, fun room, and uh, yeah, let's move on. Okay, let's have a look down here. Three south. Mm -hmm. Okay. P 
pretty self-explanatory. We need to get uh, each um, uh, each gel baby on the pressure plates. Interesting. So I have a couple of things to. For one, these are going to be brained, so I can basically either decide whether they're going to be brained or unbrained. If I do this, they're all going to be brained. I uh, don't really know how that's going to help me, though. Uh, I guess it's so that I can move them around a bit, but... Uh, oh, I can also drag them down. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to have them step one over. I'm going to drag this one up by itself. Okay, this is really kind of weird, but I think I need this one over and then, yeah. Okay, so I've got these two done. I think I can get these two done as well. Oh, nice. Okay, these tunnels actually make it not too bad because it means that I don't have to cross back over these. So these now are in place and will basically essentially remain in place until... Um, Uh, until further notice. I actually want to start on the left though because I can't um, drag them down from this side. So I want to do this. Okay, so now these are in place. I want to do something like this. I want to drag these babies back out, I think. I think this is fine. Yeah, then I can do this. Um, Uh, what I... Hmm... Uh... Yeah, my strategy is not particularly sophisticated. Um... It's just sort of fumble around until I line these things up. I don't think there's anything in particular that you need to do strategy-wise apart from start from the left and go to the right. Um, and then every time you move the gel babies, you want to be moving uh, gel babies which are like... See how this one is already going up a little bit in this row? So when you step onto these force arrows, you want to be stepping onto a force arrow which is not like this. Okay, so now I've got these two lined up. I can move on. I actually think this one is going to be... Uh, I need these to be one... Okay, these ones are lined up now.
Okay, these ones are lined up. And I think these ones actually should just, these last two should just line themselves up. Yeah. Okay, uh... Kind of weird. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about this room. This didn't really seem like there was a whole lot of strategy to this. It was just kind of fumble around... Until I find something. Oh, I have a secret here. Yeah, so I don't know about... I don't know about this one. Another secret. I'm going to leave the secrets until the end of the hold. Uh, I think just so that I can kind of get through these. Because I might well get stuck on a bunch of secrets. So um, I'd rather kind of progress as much as possible. Hmm. Last two rooms left of the level. Looks like. Yeah. Um, but there is also a secret up there. And a secret up there. Okay, so there's two secrets here as well, which I just haven't found yet. Okay, this looks a bit nasty. Um, yeah, as soon as I saw this plate, I assumed it would be the case. Yeah, you need to have this plate depressed uh, the whole time, actually. Hit these orbs. And then... Where's the... Okay, so I just need to hit these orbs... Keep them, keep the, the plate depressed, and then open these. What I want to be doing is somehow finding a way to use the wraith wings to trap, to trap a um, a uh, a gel baby, but um. I don't know if I want them to kind of together. Uh, okay, first thing that I want to do is probably... like a diagonal like this like one two so that then when I go down and hit these orbs they remain in place um I have no idea how this setup is gonna work though like no idea at all I need to. Okay, so I think there are two. There are two parts to this room. First, I need to have. I. I need to be able to hold the the plate in place while I am hitting the orbs, and I also need to then have some way to get back over to the plate. Uh, once I've hit them. So the way to... I can see definitely see a solution to the... Um, to the... It's basically like this. 
except that I want um, want it to be the opposite way around. So I want the diagonal to be coming from this direction. But uh, this works as a proof of concept. Um, especially because I can move this gel baby to... to where I want it. Uh, this... Yeah, I'm trying to just get this gel baby uh, to be... To, to, to be to be in place to be in a position where I can um Yeah, I can't get it. <clears throat> I wonder whether it might be easier to get it set up, like... Here. Um... Yeah, like that. Okay, this is a much better position. I can now play around with the... Uh, with the Wraith Wings. Uh, there is going to be some position I can put the Wraith Wings in that will hold the... Uh, hold the Gel Babies in place, is what I would say. Is what I would imagine the solution is. Uh, the issue is, is that they're pretty far away. Ah, no, I think I have the solution. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to do something like this. I need this Wraith Wing. Uh, I need the other way, Wraith Wing as well. Um, I need both Wraith Wings, and I can use the Wraith Wings to get this... Um, to get this gel baby stuck beneath me. Uh, maybe it'd be better to sort out the way things first. Um, uh, this is gonna be a bit annoying to set up, but once it is set up, like, this will 100% work. Uh, maybe it's easier to get, to get it to happen this way. Um...
I'm kind of benefited that the... The Wraith Wing is not going to kill me. So I can do stuff like this. Uh, this is really close. I, I need this Wraith Wing not to move. I need it to be stunned, really. Mm, this is really, 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 really close. I... I wonder, is this definitely possible? Uh, that was basically it. Maybe I do only need one Wraith Wing then. Um, maybe the other one is just being annoying. Uh, although, that being said, I think probably... Yeah, no, I do need both Wraith Wings. Um, I also need them to be in line with me when I'm going to kill this thing. Ooh, actually, a better place might be up top. Um, like, above the... Uh, oh, it can't be above because of where I've positioned those two. Um... Gel wave is here. Um, uh, yeah. I suppose it could go in the corner. Yeah, the way Wraith Wings move just makes this really, 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 really annoying. Especially when they're grouped up together. When they're standing completely next to each other, they don't attack you. Um, so I do kind of have to separate them apart a bit. Um, uh, I wonder whether there's a more intelligent way to make this happen. Um, I feel like there isn't. This is still not quite. I can't survive this. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. I don't want to be moving underneath them, though. That's the problem. I want the Wraith Wing to be pitting in the gel baby but wait oh hang on I have an idea I might be able to do this with one gel baby uh, yeah let me try something what if I put this gel baby here Uh... 
This is close. But it's not quite. Because I, I, I do think I need the Wraith Wing to be underneath. Because this is too far away. Uh, the Wraith Wings are just not going to stay that far away from me. And so, like... Wait. Can I, like, time it so that... Like this? So that it, like... No. No. This is still not good enough. I need these wraith wings to come towards me and stand in a position. Wait. Uh. Ah, and the wraith wing moves first, so. Otherwise, this would work, but I can't. Yeah, this would this is actually quite close to being right. Maybe if I have two wraith wings. I just want to be able to get them Is this one of those situations where it wants to kind of... Oh! No, 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 stay in place, stay in place, stay in place. Is there anything I can do? I, I need this Wraithwing to, to die. I need to be able to kill this Wraithwing now. Um, but I can only kill this one because uh, the other one is like not close enough to me. Maybe this isn't the solution then. Um, okay, well, let's try killing one. Uh, let's try bringing them one this way and then killing this one. Okay, this is, I, I can't, I, the problem is, is that I feel like this is really close to the solution that I need, but I can't tell whether I'm, whether I might just be wrong. Because I might just be wrong. Thank you. 
The other big problem is that the 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 gel baby wants to be coming towards me at all times, uh, and this. The Wraith Wings are just like, not, they just don't want to cooperate. I wonder whether letting them out one at a time might help. I don't have to let both of the Wraith Wings out, I can just let one of the Wraith Wings out and that might be better. Um... Because I could actually just stick them up top. Uh, that's... yeah, this is the issue with having them... I gotta make sure this is right. If I have them stuck up there, then they have to be there, like... It has to be... The other issue is just that like because because it doesn't slide, I can't like have it slide across to the like this position. That it, that's the really annoying thing. If this was a a roach, then the roach would be here stuck, and I'd be able to just open this up. But because it's a gel baby, it just makes it that bit more actually like more annoying to set up <sighs> but the thing is, is I need I can set it up like this pretty easily but I need the I need it to be on the bottom row, which is really frustrating apparently. It's really difficult to set up. So uh, I don't know. The only re the reason I don't think this is right, this is necessarily right, is because I'm holding my um I'm just using up the uh, one of my wraith wings. And generally, if you're giving if you're given a resource, you don't want to be using it up. It also doesn't help that I'm using a uh, caber. If I had a stick, this would be like way easier. In fact, I might need to use the hint guy. 
Just because this room, I just don't feel like I'm going on the right path. The Wraith Rings are your friends. This room does not require any strange swarm behavior. Okay. Otherwise, maybe it might be my initial setup is off. A good wall can block orthogonally as well as diagonally. That's all. A good wall. Okay, that's everything. I don't really see how... Um... Hmm. So got my last two rooms that level. This this one and the other one and I'm a bit stuck on both. Um I might need to review the footage and come back and have another go with a fresh mind. That often helps when it comes to these sorts of uh these sorts of rooms where you, the thing is is that I'm stuck in my head, I want to go down a particular path. Uh, but sometimes you just need to say, look, this isn't working, completely reset and find something, some other way of doing things. And I think that's what I need here uh, for these last two rooms of the level. So uh, I'm gonna leave it there and hopefully I'll be able to conquer these last two in the next episode. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, this has been uh, Treacle Stew and thank you very much for watching.